everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am doing an acrylic pour painting tonight in one of those long, skinny triptychs. The client found me on Facebook and she showed me a picture of her blanket and I'll try to show it to you in the video. But the colors remind me of spring a little bit. So it's got yellows, turquoise and blues. It's very pretty. I'm going to use a touch of silver to create some of the cells and lacing and I'm really excited to do this one. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has been watching my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out so much when you click on my videos, watch my videos. It means the world to me. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for being on this journey with me. And I do have some things coming up, some new techniques that I want to try. And I'm just, I have kind of found my passion for painting all over again recently. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. All right, let's get started with the painting. Let's paint. Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. I am doing, of course, another commission piece tonight. She found me on Facebook and she sent me a picture of a blanket that she had. And I thought, man, I really love these colors. It's got a lot of kind of spring yellows and turquoise colors and I made this deep green out of paint, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray and um, bright green and a little bit of like an emerald green. So it's a really pretty forest color. She wanted black panels on the outside, gray on the inside. We went back and forth between silver and gold and I chose silver. So you can let me know when you see it at the end. Um, what you think and I'll let you know what I think of the silver edition as well. Um, my paints are mixed with um, Amsterdam acrylic and water. This one, like I said, is mixed um, a little bit differently and the silver is a Soho silver um, with a little bit of Windsor and Newton. So I'm going to go ahead and get the base coat down. No playing around on this one. Let's paint. laid down my base coat I let me torch this out some people had asked where I get my torch from and this was from Amazon but they don't make this anymore so what I did I ordered a couple of different torches and I'm going to try them out so that I can tell you one um, that I recommend besides this one. So I have a couple on the way. We'll see how that goes. But it's just to get rid of the air bubbles for now. So I thought about this for a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like a minute while I was pouring this paint on how I'm going to layer these colors. <laughs> um, and so I don't want to go yellow next to the black. 
I don't want to go white necessarily next to the black, but I don't want to go with this dark green because it will go right, and I'm going to do them kind of in the center and then blow them up. Uh, maybe just a little bit of a squiggle. So I think, I think I'm going to go with this blue right through here. And I may come in with two layers of this. I'm not quite sure. Ooh. Look at how beautiful that is already. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so then I think I wanna do this yellow. Okay. I like that, I like that. Now I'm gonna go with my turquoise. This is turquoise green. Well, it's a little bit thinner than the rest of the paints, I can tell. I did not do my drip test. Okay, what's next? Now I think I'll do this. Y'all, that turquoise color is, the turquoise green is thin. White next. Just a little bit to brighten everything up. I'm pretty putting a pretty thick <laughs> dog twister. I'm putting a pretty thick layer on here um, in the middle because I'm gonna I want to blow them to get a pretty good negative space. Now I can already tell this color that I mixed with the Creative Inspirations, because I mixed it with some Amsterdam and water, it is it has spread out much further than these other paints. It's a completely different cell reaction, a different reaction if you use um, a different brand paint and mix the brands together. been too much. I don't know. I always get to this point and I just don't know. Does this happen to you? Okay. And the last little part is, do I want any black or gray in any of these? And I think I'm going to say no. You answered yes, I'm sorry. Okay, let me blow these out.
Okay, this turned out very green. I don't know if she's gonna like that. It's more green than I thought it would be. This little cell reaction I'll show you right here. I hope it dries that way because it is gorgeous. I love the when I do these like this and I do the straight line across and when I blow them, it, it's a little twist of your wrist with the blow dryer, but it helps fan these colors out and it just creates just a gorgeous gradient. I really don't even think I'm gonna blow on these any. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave this the way that it is. I think it's gorgeous. This little cluster of cells here. Oh, let me take you in and let me show you what it looks like because it's stunning. Stunning. So here it is. Let me show you first this little cluster that I'm talking about. Look at how beautiful that is. I do have the yellow kind of going throughout. Against the black, it's just, the blue shows up more in the black and the green shows up more because it's a little bit darker. It's just different contrast. Amazing how those are the same colors though, right? I may, I, I may have lied, I may blow that one little area right there, but look at this. So I'm gonna see if she likes it. I, I love it, but again, when you're doing a commission for someone, it's so difficult to, to do what's in their head. You're taking something out of someone's imagination. Wow, I think it's really pretty. Will you guys let me know? And of course, I'll show you the dried result. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? I don't even know where to start. Oh, I have like a little bit of, there you go. Look at that. And she loves them and I do too. The turquoise color and the yellow is so bright there, the silver. We were debating silver or gold. We went with silver and I'm so happy. I went with silver because of the gray. So happy I did. It really kept it like a cool tone instead of warming it up. Love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Happy painting. Bye.